let's talk about math behind the low cost model. I'm going to use an example of the airlines to show you how different the economics are. So we're going to start with uh, the revenues. So here we've got the regular airline in uh, column F and then low cost in column J. And let's start with the number of seats that you can fly on a daily basis. So we've got number of seats per one plane. So as we said previously, in a regular airline, you would have the 150, whereas in the low cost, you would have 190 seats. So with the same planes, let's say 100 in this case, and having three flights in, instead of four, we can actually go from 45 thousands of seats per day to 76 thousand in a low cost carrier. So it's like 69 percent better than the regular airlines. Here you've got the calculations. Now let's have a look at the sold tickets. So as we said, they have uh, more seats available. So we said uh, 76,000 instead of 45,000, but they also sell more out of this. So the, the so-called low factor utilization is, is bigger. So in the regular airline, it's 77%, whereas when it comes to the low cost carrier, it's 88% in the cell G13, you can see it. So thanks to this, we actually managed to sell more tickets. So we sell almost double the number of tickets uh, we would sell if we were a regular airline. So here you can see it's 66,000, it's now 34. And what does it cost to the revenue? So we made some assumptions obviously here. So we assumed actually that the price is just 60% of the regular price. And out of this, we get that uh, even on revenue, they are much higher. So despite having 40% lower price, they managed to get 16% higher revenue out of this. So as you can see, thanks to having four flights instead of three, having uh, more seats and uh, a better utilization of the plane, you're managing to get uh, higher revenues. Now let's look at the operational costs. So it looks exactly the same. Here we did just a comparison of uh, the personal costs. So the cost of a pilot and the cost of a flight attendees. So when it comes to cost of pilots, you not only have cheaper pilots, but you also make them fly more hours. It's almost double. So this actually causes you to have 36% uh, of the costs that a regular airline has in terms of the pilots. And in uh, the cost of uh, flight attendees, it's even better. So it's just 21%. Uh, so yeah, almost five times cheaper when it comes to the flight attendees than the regular airlines. And this causes you to have a better P&L. Now let's look at the assets. So as we said, they are buying cheaper. So here we assumed uh, just the Boeing 737. So it's like uh, 96. And we assumed some discount here. So you can see that uh, they are managing to get the revenue with only 73% of the assets that the regular airline is using. And obviously on the assets involved with maintenance, you need just 20% uh, of regular airline uh, assets because you just keep one type instead of, let's say, I think four. Here we assumed four types, which is probably quite close to the true. And the same goes with training. So if we are talking about the training, you again will be spending much less because you don't have uh, all the complicated structure with the types, etc., etc., etc. So as you can see, you not only are better in terms of revenue with lower costs, but you also need for uh, the whole business lower amount of assets. And this is actually what's driving the business model of low cost companies. So have a look at this, play with this, try to build such a model for your business to see on what you'll be building the value and on what you're going to be generating the money.